Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV and Paul from Critical Eats Japan. Welcome to another Ken and Paul food review just for you. Uh, we are at Moss Burgers, Moss Burger. and uh, this is supposed to be one of the most well known burger places in all of Japan. Yeah, that's right. It's a Japanese chain and it's as popular, if not more popular, than say a McDonald's would be. At least in Japan. Right. He says you got to do a Moss Burger before you. Got to do the the signature Moss Burger. And I think it came to 370. As you can see, my whole bill is in Japanese. Uh, one of the cool things is we walked in. We we're looking at what we want. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul's been here many, many times. He yes, knows what many. it says. <laughs> so, yeah. but she could see two white guys standing yeah. in there. So she came running around the corner and she gave us a, an English menu, That's which right. was really, really yep. cool. And uh, so, again, if you're in Japan and you want to try Moss Burger, don't be afraid to walk in there. They'll see that you're an English-speaking person, and they'll give you an English-speaking or an English-speaking English, yeah, yeah. an English <laughs> menu, so you yeah. can easily pick what you want. That's right. But my burger came to 370. Uh, then I ordered a, a fries and onion rings yep. and a drink, and the fries, onion rings, and a drink came to like 250 plus 310. Then they took off because I did like a combo. Yeah, it's a set menu. They took so, off yeah. like 90 yen. So all together, it came to. Uh, 840 yen, which I think is like normal for like a, yeah. a set kind of meal here. It's not bad. And what did you order? Um, as he said, I've been here many times, so I've tried a lot of burgers on the menu, and a lot of my viewers will know that I've tried many, many burgers, including the Moss Burger that you're going to try now. So I thought I'd do something a little different um, that I've never tried before. And actually some maybe vegetarian viewers may be interested to know that they have a vegetarian burger available. So cool. I got the Yasai burger, the vegetarian burger, and the patty is made out of soy meat. Or is it yeah. meat? They had, they had a whole the list. soy patty, yeah. A whole list of uh, vegetarian options. Yeah. Right? There were some where the bun was even made out of rice. I got one that has a normal bun, but a soy patty. Have you tried their onion rings? Um, I'm not sure if I have or not. This is my first. Doing yeah. Everything here. So your set, you could choose a set. I think it yeah. could either be a salad and a drink, fries and a drink, but you got onion rings slash fries and a drink. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That was funny that you couldn't get onion rings and a drink. Yeah. It had to be onion rings with the fries. Yeah. And a drink. Because I was looking for them. I'm like, what if they just have onion? No. Well, you probably could ask for it. And they probably are Maybe. pretty. So there's your onion rings. Very light colored, almost tempura looking. Yeah. So, yeah. take out your burger. I also got a drink as well. I didn't get a set though because this is a special campaign drink. And hopefully the camera is picking up the color on that. But it is... <laughs> Paul kicked it on the way in the car. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so it's yellow, lavender, and kind of, I guess that's lavender too, purplish color. So basically it's called Lavender Lemonade. And this was 350, I believe, just for the drink alone. And it, it couldn't be used in a set because it's a special campaign, but, but I couldn't resist. But watch what happens. So get your straw out. Yeah. Also, you'll notice they give the drinks in a bag. Drinks in a bag. When, Interesting. when you carry them out. At the bottom oh. of the bag is a piece of cardboard, oh, so it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't fall over. But that's pretty typical in Japan. And people always ask me, why are they put in a bag? Oh, look at that. So it came, the straw comes like this, and I'm not sure if she... She, she did it, yeah. Did she do it? She broke okay. She broke the straw and, and broke it enough so that okay. you don't have to actually figure wow. it out. According to it's the It's supposed lady to now change color. Yeah, let's see if I can give you guys a good view of this. Supposedly, it's going to change color. So the, it sounded like she said, yeah, there it goes. Wow. Yeah. Instant pink lemonade. So it turns pink. That's cool. Yeah, so she said they put down like a layer of like um, lemon goo, like a lemon goo. syrup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they put the tea on top. It was a lavender tea. Yeah, lavender tea. Right. And then so when you mix it, it turns pink. Lemonade sauce at the bottom and that's then lavender tea. That's a fun tea. thing. That's pretty awesome. So this was 350 yen. A little bit expensive though. Almost as much as your burger. Yeah, right? the burgers yeah. are like 350 and this thing is 350 and it's like liquid. Okay, There's so I'm, nothing special. I'm gonna start eating my meal in Japan. We usually say itadakimasu. 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 So itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Yeah. So. That's when I see if you like it or not. It's good. Yeah. It tastes like a real kind of lemonade flavor. I'm not really getting a lavender tea thing, but 
I like that. I really like a fresh lemonade taste, which is not really something that's so common in Japan. So for me, this is a total treat. And let's realize mm. I only get two onion rings. You want an onion ring? Only two? We'll share. Yeah. Can, I, I touched it, but you can have it. Okay. Sorry for touching Fair it. Fair enough. There's only two in this really? whole thing. Really? Lots of fries, of course. Tiny, tiny, yeah. Uh, it was good. I liked it. Yeah. I'm pretty picky on my onion rings, and I'd, I'd order those. It's very again. light. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, these, tasty. These fries are nice. They were fried, too. Nice fries. So you're going to want to save some fries until after oh, your right. burger. Because it may or may not, well, it may, it will be messy and you're going to want to use your fries. Oh boy. Yeah. We've been sitting here for a minute while we talked, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So again, my drink is in here. I went for a milkshake and we were discussing, right. discussing the fact that I'm not sure if it's a Japanese thing or whatever, but they have vanilla, uh, strawberry, yeah. and then coffee. Coffee flavor, no chocolate. No chocolate. I, that's just Very. a Moss Burger though. Oh, okay. But I have heard that their shakes are really good, even though I've never tried them before. If they had a chocolate one, I probably would have. But. Again, so she, yeah. I saw her grab the straw and then she felt where the, the bend was and then she bent it and then pulled yep. it and then but put it in the bag for you like this nice so you can just take that off you don't have to do any work whatsoever here in japan <laughs> okay and since it's sakura season they have this sort of decorative wrapping on their burgers and what is sakura season sakura oh. is cherry blossom season mm. so you came at the right time of year yes and here it says hey, soy soy patty sakura. so how is the it's good it's good yeah it's kind of uh kind of crystallized oh, you know really? what I mean like you know when you make a milkshake it's nice and smooth and creamy uh, and stuff this kind of tastes like an iced uh, milkshake okay I got a lot of ice in my drink too it's good the flavor one of my complaints about strawberry flavored things usually is the fact that it has this really really weird uh, aftertaste like artificial yeah. kind of thing yeah so whatever artificial stuff they do right. uh, once again I, I feel that their burgers are very small here in Japan right. Uh, although when you went and did your Carl's Jr., yes, Carl's Jr., I guess because it's Carl's Jr., yeah. decided to make their keep their burgers exactly the same size. Uh, but the Wendy's, we're giving too uh, much away in all of our, our stuff. The Check Wendy's out the Wendy's small. review if you want yeah. to see some more burgers. I think reviews. that's going to be out first. Oh, okay. Before this. Yeah. We'll so play. in this Japan, it's very, it's the, it's the norm to serve any type of burger in a, a pouch. pouch. AKA a diaper, right? Or whatever you want to call it. Check that out, people. Scratch it, sniff it, the rest is mine. Okay. Yeah, it smells like uh, spaghetti. A little bit, yeah. yeah. So I asked her and she did say this one is a, a beef patty. A beef patty. I was patty. a little concerned it might be beef slash pork. Right. But some of the other ones she said, no, that's beef pork, beef pork, but this was beef, she said. And then, of course, mine is soy. So it's not meat at all. You can give that one a scratch too, if you so desire. If you want to scratch the soy. Scratch the soy. <laughs> Sounds like a band name. Scratch the soy. Yes. So I remember them. It's my burger's got so uh, a bun, soy soy patty, a kind of Thousand Island dressing with onions mixed in it, tomatoes, lettuce, more Thousand Island dressing on top, and another bun. So it's it's pretty basic. I think I wore the wrong shirt for this <laughs> burger, but yeah. mine's the bun at the bottom. Let's go from the bottom up. So bun, beef patty, and then she, some she's- Some sort of mayonnaise yeah, sauce. Yeah, a mayonnaise. There. Yep. Mayonnaise, and there's, looks like there's possibly little chunks of onion and then like a spaghetti right. sauce, yeah. and then a tomato on top of the spaghetti sauce. Right. And how are you supposed to eat this is- Well, you, you keep it in the in the, the wrapper, or are you gonna make I know, but as I, as I fold it out, uh, I'm just trying to, I want to like pick it up right? and then eat over the wrapper. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Welcome to Moss Burger. <laughs> Welcome to Mess Burger, yeah. we'll call it. You know what? I'm going to go crazy. Oh. <gasps> oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. This is my car. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bud. It's not on your car. It's Dude. not a thing. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> We're going to do it. Here we go. Ready? Oh, no. Mmm. <laughs> mm. You can also get um, oh. what? <laughs> I saw some drops there. Yeah, yeah there's lots oh, of yeah. onions. Yeah, yeah. I have my stuff up here. Mm. 
That's good. It's totally messy, but yeah. the idea is you keep it in the wrapper. I know, I know. I want people okay, okay, to see okay. it. I know, I know. You want to show them. And then you can use your fries to, oh, in lieu of ketchup, yeah. Lick the diaper. There you go. There's the title for this video, Licking the Moss Diaper. <laughs> Not. Okay, so I'm going to try this uh, vegetarian burger. It's bigger than mine. Hmm. I taste Thousand Island dressing a lot. It's like I'm eating a salad oh. with a lot of Thousand Island dressing on it. I don't really taste the soy patty so much. It's mostly just Thousand Island dressing and a bit of onion. So if you like Thousand Island dressing, and you're, you're in Japan, set. you're set. Yeah. nothing special about the patty it's not like it's handmade or mm. it's like a Salisbury steak patty um it's like eating a pizza burger <laughs> because of the sauce right crazy messy Keep it in the bag, people. Mm -hmm. Keep it in the bag. Mm -hmm. We thought we'd treat you guys to a food review in a car, because a lot of you guys miss the car stuff. Yeah. I wonder how many of your viewers have ever tried Moss Burger. Chances are they tried the Signature Burger, if yeah. they have. So if you tried Moss Burger, let us know what you think about it. I think there's one thing that may be a great selling point for Ken. There's no pickles on this. Yeah. <laughs> Although, there's been a bunch of places that we've been to and they always give us a little dish of pickles. Uh, the what, whether Japanese it's, pickles on yeah. the side? Yeah, yeah. But they're a little bit different than, mm. than uh, green slimy pickles. <laughs> yeah. See, I was good. I kept it all on there. Very messy. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to debate whether I'd... They have some chicken things on there that I bet might be better than this for me. Yeah. Because there's nothing, like I said, super special about right. this. No, it's, it's not bad. It's good. Right. But I'm in Japan. I don't want to eat Salisbury steak. Hey, don't move. But Hamburg steak is a huge thing here, actually. Right, yeah. yeah. So... It's a cultural thing. Mm. And that's this is the size of their napkins. It's usually folded once and that's pretty much it. Not meant for big fat faces like mine. So far the milkshake is the best thing. I'm really digging this lemonade too. Just because yeah. it tastes just like a fresh lemonade kind of thing. I'm gonna do what Paul told me to do. You get your yeah, fry. There you go. Mm. Bad. Mm hmm. Lots of onions. Yeah. Not sure if she're not sure if she actually said onions when you're asking her all the questions. But it is packed full of onions. So if you don't like onions, this might not be yours. They're not strong onions, but yeah, they're mixed in with the yeah. sauce, right? I'm not sure if you could ask for no onions or not. Uh -huh. One of my friends hates onions, so wherever we go, he's always asking for no onions. Mm. But I think here at Moss Burger, he doesn't mind them because they're small or something. Like McDonald's uh, onions? Any any, any onions, he'll always ask. If we go eat ramen together, he'll ask them, does that have any onions in it? And this kind of thing, right? Yeah. You should like make food for him, put onions in it. See if he finds them. <laughs> Because onions, onions make food so much better, yeah. eh? Like when, whenever I would like make dinner at home, you always like start with some butter, yeah. some onions in the pan. Cooked onions, yeah. Right? I hate. Oh, he hates hate raw. It. Yeah, he Sounds hates raw. Right. Like okay. he, I gave him some chili I made that had onions, and he thought it was really good. So mm. he doesn't mind yeah, that. There's, there's a difference, huge. Yeah. Right. I hate 
raw onions, like at Subway, they throw these raw onions yeah. on. Yeah, and, and red they, onions are so strong, yeah. right? Mmm. You all done yours? Yeah. Excellent. I'm all done mine. Sweet. Well. Mm -hmm. So oh. at the end of the meal, oh, right. there's another saying that the Japanese always say. Kind of thanks for the food, right? <laughs> Take and a sip. It's, it's okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> So at the end of the meal, the saying that the Japanese always use is Gochi so sama deshita. Gochi so. Mm. Gochi so sama deshita. Gochi Thanks for the go meal, kind of. Sammy gusta. Go gochi so. Gochi so. Sama. Sama. Deshita. Deshita. We got it? Nailed it. Okay. <laughs> That's it. We got it. <laughs> well, I'm going to let uh, Paul rate his meal and that. This first. is good. This is amazing. Yeah. It's kind of pricey though, 350 yen for a drink. It is crazy. Yeah, that's what. About Whereas, like the place we ate this morning, it was free. Not that, yeah. but they the, give you a huge thing yeah, of iced yeah, yeah. tea sitting on your thing, and you can yeah, drink yeah, as much as you that's want. Right. And then they charge 350. Not, it has not a novelty factor because it changes color, yeah. but There's just the fact that it's lemonade. I know maybe for you guys that's normal, but here in Japan, it's hard to get something that tastes like just like lemonade because oh, okay. I can make my own, but right. so it's really good. A little bit expensive though, right. almost as much as your burger, so, you but I still it liked again. it. Um, just I, because I probably price. wouldn't buy it. Sorry, I probably wouldn't buy it again just because of the price, but I really do enjoy drinking it. It's really good. Just to give you a heads up, like this in a vending machine mm. is like a, uh, 150, 120 yeah, yeah. yen. And that, you, you, you're trying to yeah. save money. It's, yeah, exactly. Get that, get that instead. Yeah, but this is very novel to mix it up. So if you're in Japan, <laughs> you want to try something fun and you want a lemonade taste, totally go for the lavender lemonade at Moss Burger. And the burger? The burger was better than I thought it would be. Oh, okay. It had a very Thousand Island salad flavor, but the soy patty... I mean, it didn't taste like meat, but it didn't taste bad either. It was just fine, you know? So if you're a vegetarian and you want to try a burger, I totally recommend it. If you're not a vegetarian, I would go with uh, Ken's Choice. On my rating scale, guys, the the burger itself, again, it tasted like a Salisbury steak pizza burger uh mm. if i added cheese to it which you can oh, yeah. um but i wanted to do the signature you burger can also uh, add jalapenos as well uh, so yeah. jalapenos yeah. it would have probably bumped it up to a would recommend but as it stands right now i'm, I'm kind of in between in between an indifferent and a would recommend on my rating scale the milkshake was uh, a would recommend i really liked it so not, not leaving that artificial uh, flavor in my mouth their fries are amazing uh their onion rings are really good too but you only get two, and I'm yeah. not sure if it bumped up the price yeah. or anything, so I might as well just get a big bag of fries, and, and right. away you go. All right, I'd like to thank Paul once again for being in one of my videos and showing me around Japan. Thank you very yep, much, sir. no problem. And thank you very much for telling me about Moss Burger, because I might not have ever gone there. Yeah. And I hope you guys are learning a lot about Japan and where you can go, and the fact that almost anywhere you go, they'll give you an English menu, and this yeah. is definitely one of the places. The service here is really good, yeah. no matter where you go. All right, guys, if you're enjoying these videos in Japan, please click that subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. But if you'd love to show your love and support for this particular video and the fact that Paul's helped me out in Japan, mm -hmm. give it a thumbs up, ding, 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 and we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul food review. Ken and Paul out. Boop.